For question number four, we're given three graphs and we want to determine the number of real solutions the related quadratic equation has. Then determine if the discriminant is positive, negative, or zero. Recall that when you have a graph, the solutions are the x-intercepts of the graph. So where does the graph cross the x-axis? Well, notice that my first graph here doesn't cross the x-axis. There are no x-intercepts. So if there are no x-intercepts, that means there are no real solutions. So pick zero from that dropdown. And if there are no real solutions, if you go back to the chart where we relate the discriminant with the number of solutions, if there are no real solutions, that means the discriminant is a negative number. Notice how graph B does cross the x-axis. It actually has two x-intercepts, which means that it has two real solutions. And if an equation has two real solutions, we know that the discriminant must be a positive number. Our final graph here crosses the x-axis at just one spot right here. So if it has one x-intercept, it means there's one real solution. And anytime there's just one real solution, we know that the value of the discriminant must be zero. So make sure you fill all of these answers into the drop downs for question number four.